What happened to the old schoolhouse campus? According to the Stanley News and Press article from April 30, 1937, as per Section 62 on page 20 of the Public School Laws of North Carolina, the state took on the oversight of public schools. Meanwhile, the Stanley County Board of Education continued to manage school facilities and assets. This shift was apparently intended to improve decision-making, maintenance, and resource allocation, demonstrating the community's dedication to fair and effective education practices. The State Historic Preservation Office recommended exploring county school board minutes of that time to understand the transition of the Stanley County Colored Normal and Collegiate Institute slash Kingville Colored School from private to public oversight. This investigation would provide insights into the transfer of property ownership from the institute trustees to the county. Upon collaborating with a school board administrator at the Stanley County School Board, a thorough examination of past school board minutes revealed a detailed account of the land deed transfer from the local school committee to the Board of Education. Initially, the records did not contain a deed for this property, probably because the land was part of a private trust and not classified as public school property back then. Take note of the blank space following the reference to deed book no. 81, page 172. Before the deed would be transferred a year later, an article was published in the Stanley News and Press regarding a notice of sale of school property in the April 13, 1937 edition of the Stanley News and Press. The advertisement featured a Wotton school building with two rooms, previously the Kingville School. Another Wotton school building with five rooms, also previously the Kingville School. The Kingville School lot spanning two acres, which includes a well and a hand pump. Based on the Board of Education minutes, the deed was obtained from Henry Brooks, the last trustee of the Stanley County Colored Normal and Collegiate Institute, on September or October 12, 1937, transferring the two and a quarter acres of land to the board for a dollar. According to the resolution in the school board minutes, J.M. Morrow had sold a two and a quarter acre plot to the Fab Five for $200 for educational purposes. Following the transfer of schools and properties to the Stanley County Board of Education, the Board of Education assumed ownership of the property and oversaw the maintenance of the school buildings and land. Prior to the two-acre Stanley County Training School lot being transferred to the County Board of Education in September or October of 1937, another four-acre lot had already been acquired two blocks away on Wall Street and McLaughlin from the Wall family for $1,350 in February of 1936, six months earlier. This new school site was intended to accommodate the growing black student population. The article in the SNAP on Monday, April 18, 1937, advertised the sale of a Wharton two-room and a five-room school building, formerly known as Kingville School, and a two-acre lot containing a well and hand pump. A seven-room school building in Newwood was also up for sale. The land and buildings at each site would be auctioned separately and together, ensuring the property is sold in the most beneficial manner for the County Board of Education. The transfer of property and deeds for the two-acre lot in Kingville from Goes Henry Brooks took a minimum of six months, with the document dated September and October 12, 1937.